Okay, this is a video walkthrough of 3305 Silent Oak, and uh, welcome to uh, the house. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to just walk around and look at things that I'm going to uh, tell you about. Okay. Largely, there's very little wrong with the house. Okay. Some very small things about it. Uh, out here, which are important to you, uh, at the front yard down there is where the, um, the, the valve is, the turning the hot water, the cold water on and off. Okay. And the meat is there. It's also a uh, if you ever think you've got a water leak, I explain in the video that you'll see uh, exactly how to do that. Okay. Okay. It's very simple, very easy. You haven't got a water leak. <laughs> okay. Let's go around and have a look at the, the foundation. The foundation is fine. Um, typical of all of these foundations though, the the house was built. And what I mean by that is, you can see, never mind this here, but here, down this edge here, you can see what was below the grade when the but it has shrunk away. Okay. Now, over time, it will shrink even more. You can see the seed is showing. Really what we should see is the grey rebuilt to about six inches from the top there. Okay. That would be ideal. Um, certainly we don't want to see that type of thing you should see there because what we're starting to do there is undermine the foundation. Okay. Okay. So over time, that's going to shrink more if you don't rebuild it. Okay. So it is well worth the effort of rebuilding it. We're in the front yard, we're just looking for where the water meter here is. Here's the water meter. In here, under the flap, the water meter is located and also there's a shut-off valve. The shut-off valve is here. That's the shut-off valve to the house. You see the water meter at the moment um, is spinning. Let me just clean this off. Can you see that little... Um, wheel turning. Well at the present moment the house is being cleaned and water is being run. If you suspect you have a water leak at some point in the future turn every tap off even turn off the fridge. Everything. Make sure everything's turned off and then come and look at that meter. If that's not turning then you haven't got a water leak. It's a very effective way of finding out if the water's leaking in your property. I'm going to come back to this water meter later to check for a leak uh, once the uh, the cleaning's done. I've now been into the property and I've turned all the water off. And so if you look now, right down at this centre boss, you can see that black and silver disc. That's not turning. So that indicates we don't have a water leak under the slab. That's good to know, isn't it? So there you go, a tip for the future. If you think you've got a water leak, come out and have a look at this. Have a look at this meter, and if everything's turned off, then it's turning. The grade on the left side elevation, right the way round to the rear elevation, is not sloping as so much as it should, although there is a slope. The code requires it to slope 6 inches in 10 feet. Uh, it's not quite sloping that much. However, there is a slope here, and in my opinion it will drain okay. But I'd still like to see the foundation a bit higher than it is. As you can see from this uh, short video clip, uh, we, we've got, we're way down uh, from what it was originally because the ground under the drought conditions has shrunk away from the foundation. Rebuilding that uh, to about four inches from the top would actually re-establish that required grade. But you can see the swale. The swale is the dip in the ground and you can see it in the video just dips very slightly and it comes out and runs the water off the side of the yard. 